from a shaggy cattle story to one about shaggy beards. At a razor blade manufacturers in Iselworth, Middlesex, we take a close look at just some of the aspects of research that go on behind the scenes into the apparently humdrum business of shaving. An average face, that thing that peers dejectedly back at us from the mirror each morning, sprouts approximately 25,000 separate bristles. Each beard has its own growth characteristics and can be used to identify an individual as surely as Scotland Yard can by fingerprints. The history of shaving goes back a long way. The ancient Egyptians were hacking away as early as 3400 BC. Alexander the Great ordered his troops to be shaven at all times in case an enemy should be tempted to grab a fistful of face fungus and open a second front in the region of the throat. To study in close-up the exact action of the razor as it mows its way through the stubble, a slow-motion camera is focused through magnifying lenses and follows the sweep of the razor. The black beard jungle, or a growth of any other colour, looks a thoroughly disenchanted forest under the microscope. Some of the hairs are triangular, others rectangular, some crescent-shaped, and even one or two oval ones. A proper blasted heath, in fact. This electrical attachment records the exact number of strokes per shave. From behind a see-through mirror, a backroom boy in the true sense times the operation. He assured us that the average man removes seven yards of hair per shave. The total shavable population of this country removes 60,000 miles of the stuff from 100 acres of hirsute cheek and jowl. The volunteers here shave in the firm's time, but at the end of the day, as knocking off time approaches, speed is essential, as you'll gather. The beard boffins are forever seeking new ways to make shaving more attractive. Pity they can't do the same for our aged early morning faces.